Jezebel! Call the gender's life. Generations of alcohol abuse. And of course. Do you have a legal right to live here? No. You don't? No. So Jezebel? You're coming out of this body. Jezebel, right now, you don't belong to him. And by the fire of the Holy Spirit to consume you and your kingdom right now in the name of Jesus and to drive you out of this body in the name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Spirit right now! Fire the Holy Spirit right now! Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ as he comes up on the stage. Come on, church, let's welcome him as he comes. Introduce yourself, your name, and where you're from. Uh, my name is Malik, and I'm from Spokane, Washington. So you drove all the way from Spokane to share your testimony? Come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. If you say 25 minutes, is a lot. Shame on you. Share with us your testimony. We've seen a video of uh, uh, God Almighty was doing in your life. Share with us how did these things started and what made you to understand you were facing things that were just not normal. Well, it kind of all began um, when, even when I was a child. I accidentally uh, stumbled uh, across pornography that my father had. And this led into a life where I was addicted to pornography. And when after I got saved, no matter how hard I would try, I would fast. I would pray. I would do whatever I could to try to break this addiction. But no matter what I did, it just wouldn't work. And then I realized I need, I'm, this is something I need help from. I believe this is something that's demonic. And uh, besides the, having the pornography addiction, what other things that you were experiencing that you were like, man, this is not normal? Uh, yeah, there was uh, these voices in my head that were always telling me to do like, like really like evil things. Like um, at my house, we have chickens, and they were, these, these voices were telling me to go kill a chicken, I guess, for like an act of witchcraft of some kind or something. So you would be hearing these voices like constantly in your head? Oh yeah, um, every time uh, throughout my day, it'd be like uh, when I'd be in the middle of eating or wake up in the morning in the shower, whatever, it'd be everywhere. So what made you to realize, hey, this is something I can't face, something I need, I need deliverance, I need breakthrough from it? Well, actually, uh, I was at home and I was watching the Kingdom Come uh, conference with Bob Larson. And uh, when he was talking about the different spirits and Jezebel, uh, I, there was something inside of me that just, I can't even describe it. That, and I knew like a, with 100% certainty, I need help from God. I need deliverance. So what happened uh, during that day when Pastor Vlad was there and I was praying? Can you describe what began to take place? Well, I was up at the front and really when Vlad, when he uh, hit the word addiction, something started to come over my body and uh, it kind of went gray from there and I lost complete control of myself. Uh, I started screaming and things of that nature. And then uh, after that prayer, as we, as we saw that the evil spirit was speaking through you, and uh, a few moments later after Pastor Vlad continued to pray for you and that Jesus Christ set you free, how did you begin to, what did you, what did you experience at that time? Oh, man, uh, after the deliverance, I felt so much lighter, so much peace that I can't even describe. It's like, a, it's like someone just went into my spirit and took all of that junk out, and it was, it was all gone. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And I know after that deliverance, after Jesus Christ has set you free, what else Holy Spirit has done into your life right after that moment? Well, first of all, I'd like to say I have not touched porn since ever since I got Woo! saved. Um, something else God is doing is that he's continuing to fill me with his spirit and he's revealing more of my calling to me, which is to evangelism, to help people with that kind of issues. And, you know, I'm just so confident to go and help people that have the same problems as I do. Wow. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Do you, did you still experience those voices in your head and the, that, that addiction that was the, the power that was over your life? Totally gone. Voice is gone. Addiction gone. It's gone. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. 
That is so awesome, awesome to hear what God Almighty has done in your life. And what is your advice to people that may be going through the same things or maybe facing uh, maybe addictions or maybe have voices in their mind, maybe how they think it's normal? What can you, what you, what can you tell them? I'm telling you that this is something that could be beyond your control and that you need to call on the God for help. And I'm going to tell you that nothing is too big for Jesus. Every demon will come out and every addiction will be broken at the sound of his name. Come on, wow. Thank you so much for your testimony. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ.